Hi guys, welcome to Nerdbike, this is going to be my spoiler review for episode 7 of season 2 of The Last Kingdom. Yes, of course, there will be spoilers throughout this video, so make sure you check out the episode first, you have been warned. And once again, I do forget names, so I'll try and describe people as best I can. Great cliffhanger from last week, and it follows straight through to this week. They get back to the camp and it's destroyed, the, the old men and people have been killed, no women at all. And uh, you've got Bianca screaming out for Tula, which is uh, or for his daughter that he's now, uh, sister that he's now married to, and it's just a real horrible moment. Just you realise he may have lost the person he loves the most, and he hasn't had her long and been together long, and she's gone. Then she comes out of the woods, and it's all fine. But the daughter of Alfred has been taken. Obviously, um, Ethered's wife, basically the dickhead that we all want dead. And you've got the uh, two brothers and their entire team uh, heading back or heading somewhere else, I can't know where they've gone, with the daughter and they're obviously going to use her as leverage. Uh, they're going to basically use her as a threat to Alfred and everything and use it as part of the battle, which is, is, which is a good strategic idea. Uh, then obviously you've got um, Ethered and everybody uh, going off to try and find the daughter, but you've got Ultred and all of his camp, they said, oh, I'm going back to uh, Cookham, that's what I've been told to do. Um, and then uh, uh, as they uh, camp for the night, he tells two of his men to go to where the, uh, the brothers are, spy, infiltrate and spy to make sure that she's alive and okay before they obviously carry on. So he's still doing his duty because he likes her and he, you know, to a point respects Alfred. Uh, the moment where Ethered has to tell Alfred what's happened is, oh, it's a good, because you kind of like, go on, tell him, tell him so he hits you and shouts at you because you want that. I mean, he doesn't hit him, but you can see the anger in Alfred's face where he realises it's down to him is the reason his daughter's been captured. And it's the first time he's seen some real distrust or displeasure with Ethered, which I'm happy with, because as I've said in the last episode, I want this guy dead, he's a prick. Um, quickly we've got something building between the daughter and Eric, one of the brothers, and he's quite nice to her and respectful to her, he even lets her bathe in private, and he even turns to have a quick look at her and everything, it's, he's building this kind of thing, he likes her, he seems to have feelings for her, and that plays in for later on in the episode, which is, which is good, it gives him an extra layer on this character as well, and she becomes more important in this episode, more than she has been so far. Ultrid comes to uh, Alfred, he, he's allowed into the meeting room and he's saying I've had a couple of spies, she is alive, she's well as far as we can tell, which obviously gives a little bit more trust back to Alfred because obviously they've had a lot of tension back and forth. So this is the little bit of trust that's going back, it's like even though I don't have to do this, I did do this for you. Alfred then picks Ethered and Ulthred to go together to negotiate with the brothers about her release and the terms, money, so on and so forth. You get a nice little moment for Ulthred leaves with Bianca as well. It kind of makes it feel like one of them was going to die, but that, that didn't happen. You know, spoiler alert right now, it didn't happen. But, you know, it could happen in the next episode or the next season even. But yeah, I always like the moments with those two characters because you can tell them, all, through all the shit, those two have been together and been like brothers and friends and everything. And it's, it's, it's nice to see. Then you've got one of the Viking guys, the big fat dude with the beard, trying to rape the daughter. Doesn't get very far. She's quite good because obviously she's been jumped on before by her husband. She knocks him with the piss bucket and then gets the dagger off him, is about to kill him and then Eric comes in and drags her off and that's the end and then he, he basically has a go at the other dude and stops and then you can tell straight away that the dude knows that Eric likes her, you can tell by his mannerisms, the way he talks about her that she's precious and that was right there that moment and then yeah it just confirms the fact that Eric definitely likes her. Now Otter, the guy with the beard, the right hand man of Alfred so to speak, he has this moment with Alfred later on saying there is a third option of the, saving the kingdom and that is for the daughter to take her own life which was kind of out of the blue really and you can see straight away that Alfred is not happy with this because not only does he not want his daughter to die, he wants his daughter back and he wants to still be able to be in charge and he's in a difficult position but also when you believe in God and you are in that religion killing yourself, committing suicide is a sin so she would go to hell you know what I mean, in their, in their world that's what would happen so it's a really really bad note for Otter to be giving to Alfred saying maybe this should happen it's, it's not going to lead to anything good you get a moment with uh, the sunset with Eric and the daughter and they end up kissing, she likes him as well this relationship is starting to blossom obviously it's, it plays in a little bit later on because obviously she doesn't like Ethered at all because he's a prick and Eric is actually quite a decent person you know all things considered 
Then Northrin and Ethered arrive with their camp and everything to negotiate and straight away Eric takes a dislike to Ethered because obviously she's told him what he did to her and he's annoyed with him and you can tell he's pissed off with him. Then they end up getting some random big Viking dude just to knock out Ethered and throw him to the pigs and he wakes up naked with the pig. Which is a great little moment. I'm so glad that he got a little bit of comeuppance. I'm kind of hoping he gets the full comeuppance in the next episode and he does die because no one likes him. Uh, the next thing is we got them negotiating and everything and then it comes to the brother with the one hand saying of 10,000 in silver, 100 in gold and the negotiations don't really come to a proper conclusion. Um, and then the last kind of scene we really get, to be honest, it's not a big battle scene this season, uh, this episode, sorry. That it's just her and Ultra talking in her chambers. She says that she likes Eric, she, you know, she tells him, and then she basically says that she doesn't want to be with Ethereum, she's going to get Eric and they're going to run away, and she wants Alfred to help her do that. And obviously that's not good for him because it breaks his oath with Alfred, it's not helping Alfred in any way, he wants his daughter back, obviously, and this is the thing, she's asking him to break his oath, which obviously means that Alfred will come after him, so it's a very difficult position she's putting him in, and obviously that's how the episode ends. So we're going to see how that goes and what he decides to do, because I, as far as I remember, he doesn't give an actual straight answer. Overall, guys, great episode. Uh, obviously, like I said, not many uh, like battle moments or big moments. It was kind of just character building and plot development. And uh, to be honest, the character building was the big thing in this. It, it developed the character of Eric a lot better. It developed the daughter a lot better. And it developed the relationship with Ulthred and other characters better. And yeah, it was overall, it was a good episode. So that's what I thought of episode 7, season 2 of The Last Kingdom. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me in the various social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbikes anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.